I'm answering your call. What? If you're coming from the main video, the idea about improper integrals, then you click this one. If not, you click this one because it said one-sided improper integrals. All right, so your book probably calls them type one, type two, type three. If your book calls them anything at all, I'm gonna call them what it is. This is a one-sided improper integral. <laughs> what am I talking about? It's improper because uh, you can't have that there, why? FTC, dog, look it up. The fundamental theorem of calculus has to be integrable over a closed domain, and that's not in any closed domain. So, what do we want to do? We want to replace that infinity with T. Oh, nice new markers. And one over 2x plus one to the third power dx. What's next? How do I make that equivalent to that? I go and I run the limit as t goes to infinity. So what did we do? Well, we made this integrable and evaluatable by the fundamental theorem of calculus, then we're going to run the limit as t goes to zero after we do the integration. So now let's go ahead and do that in integration. Let's let u dun, 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 be 2x plus 1. So then our du is going to be 2 dx. What's next? I'm finding those pieces, so I need to find dx. So dx is du over 2. Now what do we do? We're going to go and we're going to make our substitutions, but I'm going to leave the limits off. Why? Well, I could change the limits by plugging them in there, sure. So then that bottom one would be 3 and that top one would be 2t plus 1, but let's not do that. We'd have to change it over here. So let's go and let's just create a new integral. Just this one. Boom. Bam. And then we're going to say 1 over, we're going to back sub everything back in, no worries. My 2x plus 1, what's that? That's you to the third. And then I re replace my dx with du over 2. D u over 2. Sorry, I was thinking about how... Um, Annoying that you could be. So let's go ahead and let's pass that out front. Boom, what? This is one half of du, so I'm just gonna call that one half of the integral of one over u to the third du. All right, so then this is, this is one half the integral of u to the minus three du. Well, we know how to integrate that. That's the power rule. <laughs> Add one, divide by it. So this is one half the, whoa, whoa, whoa there. This is one half u to the minus two. Because minus three plus one is minus two divided by a minus two. Now what do we do? We're gonna back sub all of that business with our limits. So then I'm going to take it to the top. This down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, let's go over here. Mm, maybe over here. Mm, maybe right there. All right. So two times two is four. So I'm going to call that minus one fourth. Okay. So then u to the minus 2, this is going to be, wait for it, what was my u? 2x plus 1, all right, sure, 2x plus 1, and then that's to the minus 2 power, and then what? We're going to evaluate that from t, whoa, 1 to t. This video is going to get trolled so hard, and that's okay. You guys need something to do. What are we going to do? We need to put the limit out in front of that. So then this is the limit as t goes to infinity. So let's evaluate that business. Now, if that's to the minus 2, then it drops down to the denominator, negative property of exponents. So all right, what do I write? I write the limit as t goes to infinity of whew, minus 1 over 
four times. Now that's in the denominator. So I'm going to write 2 t y because I'm evaluating that integral upper minus lower plus 1 to the toot minus a minus is going to make mass 1 over 2 times 1 plus 1 squared finish him yeah finish him so then this is the limit as t goes to infinity Whew. of minus 1 over 4 times 2t plus 1 squared and then add that to that's 3 squared so this is 1 over 9 fine this sucker here it go to settle why because my denominator getting big and then what finish him One ninth, and then what? Box and flower. Before you get too all happy on your keyboards, what did I forget? Boom! That one fourth is on this entire thing, meaning that this one should have had a one fourth on it also. So then there should have been a four there, huh? And then there should have been a four there, huh? And then that's not a nine. That's a one over thirty-six. Oops, <laughs> I did it again. I feel like Britney. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <laughs>